Hi everyone, my name is Jean Chang and I'm a graduate student in mechanical engineering and today we're going to learn about what conducts electricity. So here I have a simple circuit. We have a battery um, and a light and some wires and if I touch these two wires together the light turns on. That's because the circuit is closed and electricity travels through these two wires. And these wires are conductive. So what do you think will happen if I took this cup of water and stuck the wires inside? Do you think that the electricity will flow through the water and turn the light on? Or do you think that the light will stay off? So we can try this. And I've stuck the wires in, but it looks like the light is not on. So why do you think this happened? We've always learned that we should keep water away from electricity, and it's because we, it seems like water conducts electricity. But it turns out that I actually tricked you guys. This is a cup of pure water, so it means that there's no salt inside. So if I took some salt and put it in there, put a lot in there and I'll mix it up real good. Now what do you think will happen? Do you think that the light will turn on? See the light has turned on. That's because when you put salt in water it's actually the salt that's carrying the electricity and not the water itself. But what about salt just by itself? So here in this cup I poured some salt and when I stick the wires inside, the light doesn't turn on. So what's going on here? Well, it turns out that salt is made up of two things, sodium and chloride, which are attached together. In order to conduct electricity, we need these two things to be able to move around and carry the electricity. Since the salt is dry and the sodium and chloride are stuck together, they aren't able to carry the electricity. But when we add salt to water, the sodium and chloride detach from each other and are able to move around freely and basically conduct the electricity. So that's why salt water conducts electricity. Pure water doesn't and neither does dry salt. When people tell you to keep water away from electricity, they actually mean to keep tap water away from electricity. That's because tap water has a small amount of salt dissolved in it. Okay, let's try some other things around the house and see what happens. So what do you think will happen if I filled a cup with Gatorade and stuck the wires inside? Do you think the light will turn on? The light turned on. This must mean that Gatorade has some salt in it. And when we look inside, when we look at the list, it looks like it does. So we've learned today that water itself, when it's pure, does not conduct electricity. But when you add salt to it, the salt actually carries the electricity and the salty water becomes conductive. So remember, regular water has a small amount of salt in it, even if you can't taste it. So it will conduct some electricity. So be very, very careful 